Rapids Nation, we promise you behind the scenes unprecedented access. Well, I'm joined by Benji Newsom, who is a brand new face to the town of Grand Falls. Benji's the equipment manager for the Rapids this year. Welcome. Thank you. Pretty excited to get here and uh, meet all the guys and get things going. Should awesome. Where are you from originally? I'm from Charlottetown. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Did you know about Grand Falls before you came? Uh, I did. Um, just a couple of island guys in the team and just being around the rinks uh, back home, you know, you see everyone meet everyone sort of thing. Awesome. Awesome. So equipment manager, I mean, we, you know, everybody probably has an idea a little bit about what you do, but talk to us a little bit about, you know, just before you came in for the interview, you had a sweater in your hand, you were taking off one of the old name plates off the back there, but talk to us about what an equipment manager does for the team. Um, I think the list of what we don't do might be... <laughs> Um, but pretty well, just you know, making sure guys have what they need to uh, play at the at their best, and uh, looking after everything from their equipment, sharpening skates, uh, setting up dressing rooms, making sure we have everything on the road, packing everything for them, uh, make sure they're organized. You know, a lot of young guys uh, kind of slips their mind a little bit, so we kind of look after them and make sure they have what they need to uh, go out there and get the job done. Okay, so typical game day. Maybe walk us through. You know, you're at home. Uh, what do you, what's your what's your typical kind of day look like? Uh, it's a pretty early morning. <laughs> um, uh, get in, make sure all the skates are done. Uh, we look after the visiting teams and they come in as well. Get them what they need. Make sure they get a room and get settled in. Um, set the dressing room up, all the food, to get their lockers ready for them, uh, and just be around. You know, when they come in, they're getting dressed. They might have things that they need or stuff comes up or stuff breaks. So just being around and making sure everything's kind of ready and set to go and that's pretty well it. Awesome. No, it's pretty well it. That's a whole lot of stuff, guys. <laughs> he's downplaying just a little bit. I think he's kind of a kind of a humble guy, it seems, and he's downplaying his, his role just a little bit. How much uh, how much stuff do you see behind the scenes with kind of pranks that go on? I mean, being the equipment guy, you're, you're touching the gear all the time, but when pranks happen, do they look at you? Uh, no. <laughs> Um, I'm pretty sure when uh, most guys come in and something's been messed with, uh, they probably have a pretty good idea of who it was. And most of the young guys coming in uh, get most of that stuff pulled on them. The, uh, the older guys don't really, no one wants to mess with them at all. So, <laughs> um, but now it's nice that I'm kind of like in between between the coaching staff and the players. So I feel like um, I can kind of like joke around with them a little more and kind of, you know. I'm a young guy too, right? So I kind of have the intake or insight on what what's going on in their lives and kind of go through the same sort of thing. So just being another person to kind of talk to and sort of awesome. Well, being in Grand Falls, you're going to learn very quickly that when you're out and about, when people start to recognize who you are, you better be ready to talk hockey. So hopefully you're you're willing to do that. Oh, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those things. I'm I'm originally from uh, not from Grand Falls either. I came here about six years ago. Okay. And uh, it's great. It's a welcoming community. Awesome place to be. Yeah. But yeah, when you're around the team and uh, and people, you know, good or bad, doesn't matter. Uh, there seems to always be that conversation about hockey. So uh, I've been here for uh, just over a day now, and uh, I can already tell this town loves their hockey and they're very passionate. So. Uh, be excited to get the people in the stands and uh, get games going. Awesome. What are you most looking forward to this season? Uh, pretty well hockey to be back. <laughs> it's been uh, six or eight months now that no one's been inside of a rink or uh, been able to watch any hockey other than what's on TV. So, you know, just uh, getting back into the swing of things and getting in that kind of groove, it'll be a... Uh, Definitely exciting for sure. Awesome. Well, Rapid Station, you've seen it. You've, this is your first behind the scenes now. Benji, when you see him out and around town, say hi. When you see him around the rink, give him a tap. Well, don't give him a tap on the back. We're not allowed to do that through COVID social distancing guidelines, but give him that high five in the air there and, uh, and thank him for the job that he does because it is a big piece of the success of this team. So, Benji, thanks for taking some time to chat with us this year. Thank you. Have a good one.